guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to compress JPEG images. So first let's create a new Java project and let's call this project JPEG Compression. Okay. Now I will create a new Java package and I will call this package that's for Java. And inside of this package I will create a new class and I will call this class JPEG compressor. Okay. And I will need the main method. Let's click finish. Okay. Now first I will need a few imports and I already copied them so I will just paste them here. And as you can see there is a lot of them, but we will need all of them, trust me. So first import is render the image, then we have a byte array output stream file, IO exception, IIO image, image IO, image write param, image writer, image output stream, and memory cache image output stream. Okay, so on my desktop I have example image, so this is just a plain image, it's called java.jpg, and as you can see, it's located on my desktop, it has size of 31.4 kilobytes. It's JPEG image and we will use this image in this tutorial. Okay. So first let's create a method and this method will make a copy of this image on my desktop but it will be a compressed copy. Okay, so it will be a public static void and let's call this method compress jpeg image okay now this method will have three arguments so the first argument will be a file original image And the second argument will be also a file, it will be a compressed image. And the third argument will be a compression quality. So float compression quality. And this method will throw IO exception. Okay. So first we will need a rendered image, so rendered image and let's call this image and we will need image dot image io dot read and we want to read the original image. Okay. Now second we will need an image writer. And we will call this JPEG Writer. And then again, we will use image IO and we will say get image writers by format name. And the format, of course, is JPEG or JPG. And we need next. Okay. Now we need image write param, so image write param, and let's call it JPEG write param, and we will use JPEG writer, and let's say get default write param, okay. Now we need to set the compression mode to explicit, so JPEG write RAM and set compression mode and this will be image write RAM mode explicit. So we will explicitly say uh, the compression quality that we will use in this uh, method. Now we need to set the compression quality, so again JPEG write param, set compression quality, and we will pass the compression quality to this method, okay. 
Now we will need a try and catch block, so we will use try with resources. Try catch, and we will. We don't need actually catch. And in here we will say image output stream, and let's call it output. And this will be again image IO and let's create image output stream and we want to write to this compressed image. Okay. Now inside of this try block, let's write JPEG writer and we need to set the output. So set output and output will be the in image output stream. So this will be our parameter in this method. Now let's call IIO image and let's call this output image. It will be a new IIO image and the arguments will be the rendered image. And the second and third argument will be null. Okay. Now let's write this to our output stream. So JPEG writer dot write. Okay. So first argument will be null. Second will be our output image and the third argument will be jpeg write parameter okay and after this try block we need to dispose our jpeg writer so jpeg writer dispose and that's it so now in our main method we can call this compressed JPEG image. Okay. So first we will create a file out of this java.jpg image. So let's say file original image. It will be a new file. And let's just take the path to this file. Okay, we will need double slashes. And the name of this image is java.jpg. And the second file will be our compressed image. And it will be a new file. It will also be located on our desktop, but let's call it compressed file dot jpeg or more like compressed image. Okay, as you can see, there is no compressed image here, it will be created when we call this method. Now let's write try and catch block. So try catch and we will catch IO exception E. Okay. And here we will call our compress JPEG image and we will pass the original image, the compressed image, and the compression quality, let's say 0.5. So this will be a 50% of quality of the original image. So the range of this quality can be from 0.01 up to 1.00. So this will be a 100% quality. And let's say this will be 50% quality. If we write this, it will be 75% quality and so on. So let's say we want to a 50% quality. And after this is done, 
we want to write something on our console so system out print and we want to print done okay and let's run this and it says done now let's see if the new image is created and here it is okay and this is the compressed image now this is the compressed image and if I slide this is the original image and this is the compressed image so you can see the difference in quality of these two images so this is the compressed one and this is the original one okay now let's check the size of this compressed image and as you can see it is 16.8 kilobytes or 17,234 bytes so this is almost uh, well it is uh, two times smaller in size than the original one because we used 50% of the quality of the original image okay and let's say you don't want to write the image to a file but you want to get a byte array of the compressed image now we will create a new uh, method let's just close these and it will be a public static and we want to return the byte array and let's call it get compressed image bytes okay so this the method will have two arguments so first one will be the same as in the method above will be original image and the second will be float compression quality okay and it will throw IO exception as well okay now let's first create our return uh, object so we need a byte array and let's call these this byte array compressed image bytes okay and we will rate later return these compressed image bytes okay now all we need to do is to copy this method above and paste it here and we'll close these and now we need to change a few things so instead of this uh, image output stream and the compressed image we want to write to a byte array output stream so we will say instead of this we can delete this and we need to say memory cache image output stream okay and the parameter of this memory cache image output stream is, need, is going to be a byte ray output stream so before image output stream we need to create byte array output stream let's call it baos and it will be a new byte ray output stream and let's pass this byte ray output stream to this memory cache image output stream okay and we need the keyword new now 
we need to get the bytes from this byte array output stream. So now we will say compressed image bytes are equal to byte array output stream to byte array. Okay. And we will return these compressed image bytes here. Now we can delete this and instead of this compressed image JPEG image we will call this method get compressed image bytes and the original image is here compression quality let's say 0 0.5 float okay and we need to check if we actually got these bytes so we will use the new uh, byte ray variable so byte let's call this image data is equal to get compressed image bytes by the original image and the quality of the compression and let's system out print line and we will use image data length so we will see the number of bytes in this byte array let's run this and as we can see it is 17,234 and if we check the previously compressed image so this is true so we get 17,234 17,234 bytes so this will be it for this tutorial expect more as always and thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial bye